When India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh signed the approval letter for the development of the Anka stealth fighter on May 26, 2025, this project, which has been hailed by Indian netizens as the J-20 Terminator, will it really be transformed into the world's first 5.5-generation fighter in 2035, as he had hoped? Reality is like a pot of ice water poured on the boiling nationalist sentiment just 24 hours before the plan was approved. The Indian Air Force has just experienced the fiasco of the century in the skies over Kashmir. Five main fighter planes worth nearly $1 billion were shot down by the Pakistani Air Force with zero battle losses, and this debacle completely shredded India's. South Asian hegemony, South Asia's dominant mask. The flash start of the AMCA program is more of a panicked response to Pakistan's imminent launch of the J-35E stealth fighter than a well-thought-out strategic layout. When Indian netizens in the social media carnival, AMCA will crush J-20, they deliberately ignored a cold fact. This is called the world's most advanced fighter aircraft. After 15 years of research and development, but even a prototype has not been built, 2025 Bangalore Air Show will still shine as the ridiculed as the PPT model. The AMCA's fatal flaws were first exposed in the form of a full-size wooden shell, mocked as a PowerPoint model. The AMCA's Achilles heel was first exposed in the powertrain. Its initial force to use the US F-414 engine, only equivalent to 54% of the J-20, equipped with WS-15, and the US explicitly refused to transfer the core technology of the combustion chamber. India claimed that the late replacement of domestic 110K an engine but 40 years of self-development of the Kavli engine cannot even adapt to the light fighter glory. The engine thrust is insufficient. The weight exceeds the standard in the plateau test repeated stops by the Indian pilots privately called a flying iron coffin. Stealth performance of the bragging more absurd, although the Indian media advocate the use of revolutionary nanocoding. Its official documents show that the AMCA radar reflective cross-section is high as 0.5 to 1.5 square meters, equivalent to 50 times the J-20. More ironic is that India has not yet built a multi-band radar test site. All stealth design is stuck in the computer simulation stage. As blindfolded drawing target, India broke the tradition of introducing private enterprises to participate in the AMCA bidding, ostensibly to stimulate innovation, catfish effect, but in fact is a desperate indictment of the state-owned monopoly. In the Hindustan Aeronautics Corporation workshop, workers with ordinary files to manually trim the precision parts of the fighter jet scene become a cruel epitome of the country's industrial capacity. This hand-wringing manufacturing has led to the Indian Air Force fighter aircraft accident rate is the highest in the world. An average of 10,000 hours of flight loss of 2.39 fighters, the Indian Air Force has the highest accident rate in the world, with an average loss of 2.39 aircraft per 10,000 flight hours. Considered as the pride of the country's glorious warplanes, after 32 years of research and development, so far the localization rate of only 60 percent, the engine, radar and other core components are still dependent on the U.S. and Israel to supply. More eye-popping is that in 2021, through $6.56 billion to order 83K Nor MK1, as of May 2025, even a failed to deliver forcing the Indian Air Force Chief of Staff, in a public forum angrily denounced how, let the country shame. The 48 years of research and development of the Arjun tank was eventually reduced to even the Indian Army, have refused to accept the parade props, the cost of each up to 8.02 million US dollars. The black hole of corruption exposed by these items is shocking, the Rafale procurement case due to officials, taking kickbacks to the unit price soared to 240 million US dollars while the Anka prototype budget has reached 1,000 crore rupees per aircraft. 47% of the core technical staff of the DRDO lost in the past 10 years, while China's Chengdu Aircraft Design Institute alone has 11 academicians sitting in the town. The talent gap so that Anka's independent innovation is reduced to an empty hole. This talent gap has reduced Anka's independent innovation to an empty slogan. India mythologizes Anka as the ultimate weapon against J-20 but deliberately ignores the fact that modern air combat has upgraded from platform confrontation to system integration and downward strike. When Pakistan to 40 J-35 as the core, with KJ-500 early warning aircraft, an HQ-19 anti-missile system to build, detection, fighting, defense, trinity system, the Indian Air Force is still for the various branches of the data chain is not compatible with the internal conflict. J-35 with a range of 200 kilometers of Thunderbolt 17 missiles, can be launched outside the detection range of India's radar hunting. While the Indian Army proud of the Rafale fighter in May air war exposed fatal flaws, 
its airborne meteor missiles have a range of only 150 kilometers, and due to the delay in the data chain leads to the inability to receive timely warning information. The results of the actual battle show that the Pakistani army utilized the system cooperation of J-10C plus Thunderbolt 15E plus ZDK-03 AWACS aircraft and put up a crushing record of 6, 0. More grimly, when India fantasy AMCA in 2035 to save the day, the battlefield rules have long been reversed, China's sixth-generation aircraft J-36 has completed the variable cycle engine test. Its artificial intelligence air combat system can simultaneously command 12 loyal wingmen to carry out swarming operations, J-20 pulsating production line to achieve three days of a production capacity, while India's Tata Group production of AMCA wings still need to wait for Germany's five-axis machine tools. The Tata Group in India has to wait for the arrival of German five-axis machine tools to produce AMCA wings. PAF even obtained the complete production line of J-35, is expected to achieve localized mass production in 2028. This systematic advantage makes AMCA obsolete before it is even born. The tragedy of India's military industry is that it uses grand narratives to cover up the weakness of its industrial roots. When the Glory Fighter program was launched, the standard was China's J-10A, and by the time it entered service in 2015, the J-20 had already flown for four years. The DRDO claimed that the Glory MK-2 would reach 4.5 generations but the military measured its radar range at 240 kilometers, which is less than 60% of that of the J-16. This generational mismatch is repeating itself with the Anka. It's advertised 5.5 generation. Characteristics are like children's toys in front of China's sixth generation aircraft. The Indian military industry's black hole of time has a terrible devouring power. The R&D cycle of the Arjun tank is three years longer than the total length of the German Tiger tank from design to retirement. The 32-year R and D cycle of the Glory Fighter is enough for China to complete the two-generation transition from the J-10 to the J-20. The 32-year development cycle of the Glory is enough for China to complete a two-generation leap from J-10 to J-20. While China has built a three-carrier battle group in 15 years and an independent supply chain covering 50,000 types of military materials in 20 years, India has to import even the bolts for its fighter jets. The Anka project team's recent negotiations with the UK, France, and the US on the sixth-generation engine are essentially a technological ransom note. Rolls-Royce has asked for intellectual property rights to be shared. Safran has refused to provide the core algorithmic control code and the French group has refused to provide the control code. Rolls-Royce asked to share intellectual property rights, and Francis Safran refused to provide the core algorithmic control code. So how can this kind of cooperation support domestic pride? Even according to the most optimistic forecast, the AMCA will not enter service until 2035, by which time it will face a triple desperate situation. China's sixth-generation J-50 has already formed combat capability and its adaptive variable cycle engine has made the AMCA's F-414 engine as primitive as a steam engine. Pakistan's deployment of 200 J-35, as together with the KJ-700 early warning aircraft has formed around-the-clock suppression of India and, even more fatally, India's own system has broken down. The domestically produced J-50s have become the most powerful engine in the world. India's own system is broken domestic medium-range missile, Astra, after 20 years of research and development is still unable to mass production. Early warning aircraft and air defense system data chain has not yet opened. When Indian netizens hailed the AMCA as a countermeasure to J-35, Chengfiz pulsating production line is rolling out J-20S at a rate of 72 per year, a number that exceeds the total number of existing third-generation aircraft in the Indian Air Force. History has long given the answer. In 2011 when the J-21 first flew, the AMCA program has been launched for one year, and now 14 years later. The number of the former has exceeded 250 and has undergone three major upgrades, while the latter is still tugging at the wind tunnel test funds. This gap is not to rely on the 5.5 generation marketing rhetoric can be made up, but from the industrial system of the generation gap, China has 35,000 military supporting enterprises and 800,000 aviation engineers. India even titanium alloy forging machine need to be imported. China's warplane China's warplanes have a 100% domestic screw rate. India's glory fighters have been grounded due to the rusting of imported bolts. When the full-size model of the Anka glows under the lights of the airshow, it looks like an exquisite metaphor for India's dream of becoming a great power, ambitious from afar, but full of holes up close. India's defense minister signed the Anka approval letter, not as a prelude to a military revolution, but as the beginning of another, 
glorious tragedy in this J-20 has cruised over the Himalayas in the era. The Indian military industry is most in need of not drawing 2035 science fiction blueprints, but first to solve the workshop rusty bolts. After all, the real modernization of national defense will always begin with every screw under the lathe, rather than the office of every page of PPT. When China's sixth-generation aircraft roar through the northwest desert, Bangalore designers may want to listen to the HAL workshop file friction metal ear-piercing sound. That is the most real pulse of the Indian aviation industry.